I'm Professor Sam Allwinkle, Chair of the Judging Panels for the AT Awards Students. It is with immense pride that I introduce to you the finalists for the Student Awards for Excellence in Architectural Technology Project and Report. Education has always been close to my heart, seeing the fantastic work students are producing on our accredited degree programmes. It's a real honour to judge these awards and deliberate with my colleagues to choose these finalists. I was greatly encouraged by the creative, innovative and forward-thinking work. In a highly competitive environment, the Student Awards demonstrate the ongoing commitment to recognising the work of students and their crucial role as architectural technology professionals and future leaders in the sector, both in the UK and across the globe. These 12 finalists demonstrate the very best in architectural technology. Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology Report. The finalists are an investigation into the compressive strength of concrete as a result of being mixed and cured with salt water versus fresh water, as well as the effects of using recycled aggregate in the mix. Isabel Piorkowska, Coventry University. The performance of glue lamb beams with service holes and different types of reinforcements. Jack Nolan, Coventry University. Testing the compressive strength of timber lattice columns for low-rise construction. Kirsten Ajay Attar, Coventry University. Verifying the positioning of passive fire protection in ventilated rain screen building wall envelopes. Michael Daly, Ulster University. Virtual reality in the architectural technology curriculum. Cameron Wood, Robert Gordon University. Wayfinding design, an investigation into wayfinding design techniques employed in healthcare facilities in Northern Ireland and the need for wayfinding standards. Katrina Slain, Ulster University. In reverse order, the 2019 AT Award winners are... Commended, Katrina Slain from Ulster University for wayfinding design. An investigation into wayfinding design techniques employed in healthcare facilities in Northern Ireland and the need for wayfinding standards. This report investigated the performance characteristics of wayfinding in healthcare facilities and critically appraised current practices. Primary data was collected through both observation and audits and linked to case studies. They were then analysed to determine the design characteristics and performance in use of the various signage used in such complex buildings. The findings of the study exposed the numerous inconsistencies and shortfalls in hospital environments and highlighted the confusion caused to the various user groups along with the stress and well-being of the occupants. The report further highlighted the need for a robust standards framework to ensure consistent wayfinding systems are designed for the benefit of all users in healthcare provision. This is an important study in the field of architectural technology as inclusive design is identified as a key area within the discipline's education and practice standards. Highly commended! Michael Daly from Ulster University for verifying the positioning of passive fire protection in ventilated rain screen building wall envelopes. This study focused upon the positioning of passive fire protection and the need to optimise detailed design, the properties of materials, their function in a given location, the environment in which they're positioned, and importantly, the method of installation and construction linked to compliance. This study referenced many of the issues within the industry and in particular, the quality and standard of construction installations. It also recognised the difficulties of compliance and the resources required to physically check each component and element, but proposed the potential for technological solutions in the form of clash detection analyses. The conclusion suggested that technological interventions may assist inspection and provide more robust verification for fire safety, but acknowledged there is not a silver bullet that can be used for all tests that would be able to provide better quality assurance for improving life safety. This is a useful study that further exposes the problems faced within the practice of architectural technology post Grenfell and the Edinburgh School's inquiry to achieve total building enclosure performance to improve life safety.
Winner, Kirsten Ajay Attar from Coventry University for testing the compressive strength of timber lattice columns for low-rise construction. This report focused on the innovative use of timber lattice structures and the creation of a visually appealing building component that is structurally viable for use in a hospice and palliative care facilities, where uplifting spaces are essential for therapy treatment and end-of-life care. The project embraced inclusive design and building performance for end users and functional design solutions to create prototypes that were manufactured, assembled and tested. In particular, the laboratory testing of the timber lattice columns was conducted to determine the optimum share of the lattice infills. It was concluded that the circular lattice produced the highest performing column. However, the square lattice structure produced an alternative lightweight infill. An extremely innovative study embracing the spectrum of architectural technology, with a particular emphasis on the importance of structural elements not only as the primary function, but optimization including use. A worthy winner of the Student Award for Excellence in Architectural Technology Report. <laughs>